In this video, we'll be changing the battery in a Volkswagen Atlas key fob. This whole process will take you under five minutes from start to finish. It's very easy to do. All you will need is a regular flathead screwdriver and one CR2025 battery. If you don't have one of these batteries lying around, you can go check out that first link in the description. That'll take you over to Amazon where you can find these for a great price. The first step is just to flip out the internal key, the flipping key. And then what we're going to be doing is using this to pry off this back section of plastic from inside here. So you can use the flathead. You could also use a coin. Uh, let me just demonstrate for you. You're just going to insert it in, into the back there and just pry. And so you can kind of hold on this top piece because that's not going to be coming off. And then we have access to the battery. Let me just quickly show you how you can do this with a coin. You'll be doing the same thing, but you can, you can pry or you can also twist. It takes a little bit of force here, but it's actually not that hard just to get this piece off. From here, um, we're going to be needing a tool like the flathead we just had um, to pry this battery out from that little opening there. So even with a big flathead like this, you can use the corner and just kind of get it in that opening and try to get under, wiggle in and kind of get under the battery and pry it out. I did it a second ago. Well, if that's not working for you, you can try to use a smaller tool. Even this is a little bit large, but you can see as soon as you get under the battery, it does just pop right out for you. Try to do this once more. There we go. Um, when you're putting in your new CR2025 battery, you wanna make sure that this positive side with the plus sign on it is facing up. And you'll just push it down into place before snapping it in right there. And now we can just put this back piece of plastic back on there. And what you wanna do is find these little teeth on the side. You're going to slide that into place first, and then you kind of close it like a book and just snap that side down. You can put your key back in there. And if you wanna verify that you did everything correctly, you can just make sure that your light is coming on when you press the buttons. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to drop us a like or let me know down in the comment section. And if you ever need help with another one of your keys, we have you covered here on this channel as well as over at our website, fobbattery.com.